summertime radness. Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to more summertime radness. Um, this is my first time recording from the Nintendo Switch, so I'm a little bit nervous about how it's going to turn out, but look how beautiful does this game even have to get? I mean, we're here on a beautiful breezy cliff with some light mist and a lovely rainbow and a lovely red evening sky. Um, you guys might be wondering what I'm going doing. Some of you guys who have seen, played this game already might know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to be trying something which I've never accomplished before and I'm going to be trying the Eventide Island Shrine Quest, so without further ado, Let's get started. If I can even remember how to play this game. <laughs> that was a great start, just plummet to your death. This happens to me a lot with this game because I'm not used to why being to um to attack. That that that, that doesn't come as second nature to me, but um <laughs> we we will see how I fare if I'm able to survive. Basically for what um well no I won't explain it. I'll, I'll let the game explain it because it will explain it. I, as I say, I've never done this before in my life. Um, I have attempted it before, but that was when I like found it for the first time, and I actually, because I explored so much at the start of the game, I found this side quest when, like, I had no, I hadn't beaten any of the beasts, I hadn't, like, um, I had no stamina, I had no, hardly any hearts or anything like that, so it was basically impossible. Because even though you you will see something that kind of like levels the playing field regardless of when you start this quest or when you decide to do this quest, um, at the end of the day, the the, the, the stamina and the hearts and the legendary beasts, I'm, I presume they're going to make a, like a really big difference here. To you who has traveled to this island, I present with you a challenge in your travel. You relied on the equipment you found along the way. Here you must cast this aside and face this trial with only your wits and whatever you can scavenge. Yeah, so pretty much. So basically, oh my god, they are throwing me right in here, and there are bow coblins like right there. Um, so pretty much, this is like, get out of there. Can we try and like not get attacked by these guys straight away when I don't even have any weapons? Can I please just run away from them? I have nothing, there is a cow. Oh my god, they are going to kill me! This is not the best start to this quest right now. Is he going to ignore me now, please? That would be good. I think he is going to ignore me. I was not expecting it to like throw me right in there like that, even though what else would I be expecting? I have absolutely no weapons. I am being attacked by bats. Um. So basically, this, you, you guys get what's going on here already basically they're after stripping you of all of your of all of your equipment all of your armor all of your weapons all of your everything and if I can't find something there we go finally jeez if I can't I was just gonna say if I can't find something which will enable me to um, to actually play here we're we're gonna be in a world of hurt right now and that being, and, and the fact that it is, there is lightning, thunder and lightning, very, very frightening, doesn't help very much either. Even though we have like a wooden weapon, so that doesn't really make much of a difference. Oh my god. Well, that actually does help that they just got struck by lightning and killed. I might like use that to my advantage. There we go. Okay. Collecting weapons, collecting everything. So I presume, well, well, actually, as I said, I have like done some of this already. This is not 100% completely new to me. Oh my god. Okay, I have to get rid of the shield. There, there's going to be a lot of, like, nervousness going on here, is it, I can imagine. <laughs> because this is just going to really, um, I, I'm presuming this is just going to really test my nerves here. Okay, so we have, like, a sword at least. Oh my god, that's actually really useful. There's, like, treasure in there. Well, there's food in there. We're not off to the worst start imaginable. I presume what the best thing to do, like, right at the beginning, would be to, um... 
the best thing to do right at the beginning would be to just like gather your resources and just get all your resources gathered so that you can um, fire away at oh my god what is he doing why aren't these guys coming to life and attacking me I was expecting that to happen as well well I suppose it's not really proper night time yet um, so yeah, like I presume this is going to really test my nerves because I just feel you just feel so vulnerable. And what what you'll notice actually, and oh my god, I do not want that guy to kill me. Can I like kill him with my like um mo wooden weapon? I guess I can. Um, but it's like it it it's funny because it makes you think like it makes you think back to oh my god, there are like baddies there, and I'm just gonna walk into them. It makes you, like, think back and remember exactly what the beginning of the game is like, because I don't think anyone here can deny, like, Breath of the Wild and, and stumbling and, and, like, playing Breath of the Wild for the first time, one of the most invigorating parts of it was just the way... Well, I'm just gonna, like, get in here. <laughs> Try and take get get your bows and some arrows here. I thought that might be the best way to go about it. Okay, um... I don't have... Will I do... I don't... I thought I, I thought I picked up a bow. Didn't I? No, I only... Oh, the bow fell down, did it? Well, that's very helpful. Well, it's actually not... It, they're actually asleep, so what I might be able to do is just kind of, like, sneak up on them. Might that work? If I be very, very quiet. This isn't normally the way I would go about this. Normally I like to attack these guys from above. Just because it's a lot more comfortable and because you can see what's going on. Whereas now, the way I'm doing it now, I have no idea <laughs> what awaits me when I reach the top of the stairs. <laughs> but yeah, I, can't, I, like, I don't think any of us can deny one of the most um, invigorating things about opening up Breath of the Wild and playing it for the first time was just like how much it just left you make mistakes and I think that was the most like as I say I think that was like the most um I think that was like the most um invigorating thing about it get out of here <laughs> that was the most exciting and invigorating thing about it was just that it let you make mistakes and it allowed you to kind of try things and if they didn't work they didn't work and you were smarter for the next time okay now i've got a better bow build a better mouse trap it's actually not as kind of like mean as i was expecting it to be oh my god what is going on down there <laughs> um it's actually not as mean as i was expecting it to be i have so many bows now i don't know what to do with them um so yeah i guess we'll get going with this first thing of ours I think I remember seeing where it was already, um, which is like right over by the beginning because I remember seeing it like the last time I tried it. And it basically what made me quit the last time was when I saw this guy over here because I had never, like when, when I played this game the first time and when I got here to Eventide Island the first time, um, I had never seen one of those so I was absolutely, absolutely terrified and then I just kind of rushed into it headlong I didn't really know what I was doing um, and that n naturally resulted in me com like completely dying okay well let's just get rid of these guys now there we go okay as I say I think like I'm at like I I'm at an advantage anyway ooh there's like a chest in there well can I can I not get that with um with this and see what's in there. Now I am mindful that that thing is is um shooting at me, but no way am I going like wasting arrows just to take that idiot out because it's just not worth it. Like that's the thing. You really have to. I'm really kind of. I I feel like I'm in um fatal labyrinth right now or something like that. Should we fatal labyrinth? You just feel like you have to micromanage absolutely everything. And every mistake could be your last, and that's the way I feel right now. Like I think I'm supreme. I've been doing well so far, and that I haven't taken one harsh of damage or anything. 
but like I, I'm conscious that that could all go to hell in a handbasket very very quickly my god just look at the way this looks just like look at the way this game looks I think that's another thing that is like that, that we are no stranger to here it's just like oh well how is this gonna work <laughs> I presume this way I think that's another thing that like is that we are no stranger to is um just the fa be th this game in evoking so much emotion just by because of the very beauty of it. Okay, could you please get out of there? Out of that like stupid little place where you are. Please. Could you just get out of here? <laughs> He's like, I'm never going to be able to get him out of there if, because, like, you, you can't build a, um, you can't build, like, a, a block of ice there. You'll have to push him out, like, a little bit. Okay, so get out here somewhere. Out here into the open water. At least then I can, like, get one to go up right in front of us. Right in front, right underneath it is what I'm trying to say. Okay, no. What? No! Jeez, I was under the block of ice. I don't even know what I'm doing now right now. Roll. Oh, what was that? What oh, was that Goron? <laughs> that's one thing I'm not. I'm not really that sure about. Like, th that's one of like the few things in this game where I'm kind of like, oh, okay, what's that really necessary? Is those kind of like, no? And I keep like pressing the wrong button. I keep pressing Y to jump, and it's not jumping. X to jump, you dingus. Okay, can you please like not roll off? Whoa, get get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> okay, now throw. This is gonna be like the biggest challenge of this is just getting this stupid thing in here. <laughs> okay, drop. Okay, so that's one. Whew. It only took like twelve minutes, but one down, two to go. And I'm going to ignore you. <laughs> just dove head first into shallow water. But yeah, like, oh my god, look at this! Oh my god, I got hit, so first hit. I was distracted by this beautiful sight, if that guy doesn't piss off. Um, the, um, what was I saying? I was saying, like, oh yeah, um, like, I don't think there's any denying that Breath of the Wild, as soon as it came out, everyone knew, okay, this is going to be one of, if not the game of 2017. Like we'll 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 see what what happens when um, when Mario Odyssey comes out. What kind of an impact that makes? But so far, I think Breath of the Wild just has cemented itself. It's so instantaneously in our in in our conscious as something that is absolutely amazing and which is just like such such a, like a, a game changer of a video game. And like I don't think there's any denying that, and I think that's absolutely amazing. Like, I think it happens so rarely now that just a game captures people's con people's consciousness so much. And there are two ways of doing this, as far as I can tell, because no way am I going fighting it, but I have actually done it before, where I have, like, just... No, 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 we do not need this. I do not need this right now, I'm just going to run away. I didn't think that I would wake him up so easily. Is he going to go away, please? Does he go away at some stage if he can't see me? If I don't move, he can't see me. I am out of stamina and he is still coming after me. Can you please just turn around and go away? Can you please just turn around and go away and go back to sleep? Okay, yes, that, that would really suit me if you did that. Okay, <laughs> crisis averted. Okay, can you stop, like, setting everything on fire here? Um, but, but yeah, I was just gonna say, I've done it before where you can actually... Where you can actually, like, get up on their hand. Okay, I can't see him. I feel kind of a little bit nervous when I can't see him. You can get up under a hand. 
Okay, there he is. He's back asleep. You can get on his hand, and when he, like, lifts up his hand to to scratch himself, then um, you land on his stomach. But the thing is, the difference is, and that's probably what happened to me just there, I'm a big fan of the Sheikah armor, which I didn't show you guys. I'm a really big fan of the Sheikah armor, which increases your stealth, because I love basically just sneaking up on things and just basically avoiding combat as much as I can. But it doesn't look like that's going to work this time because I, I don't feel confident enough sneaking up and getting on his hand without the Sheikah armor. So plan B is that as far as I know, as far as I know, you can actually, um, you can actually just land on them is another option. <laughs> like if you get up to a height and I have never tried this before, but I have heard that it is possible. Okay, well, I know what you're supposed to do here. This is easy. And now he's on fire. He's on fire and he, he was on fire and, like, paralyzed there. Get out of there. Whoa. Okay, now we need a new weapon. Oh, God. Got it. Okay. That actually didn't go as badly as I was afraid it would, <laughs> that, to being perfectly honest. But that's another thing, if you're smart, then, if you're smart, then the game rewards you for being smart, and I really love that. Now it looks like what they want you to do is actually throw these boulders down on top of them, but in no way, Jose, am I trying that. I think I would like to kind of try this strategy of just... Okay, get out of there. Oh my god, get out of there. He is awake. <laughs> he is awake. Just get out of there right now. <laughs> this is so exciting though. Like I think there's something really kind of really kind of exhilarating about feeling vulnerable. I think that, that that's just what's so cool about the way this game did this challenge is that you you feel well, I don't know. Actually, to be honest, I don't think you ever get to that point in this game. At least I haven't got to that point yet. Joe, that point where... Oh my god. I, I never got rid of these stupid things. I suppose I could have, like, um... Got rid of them in advance as well. <laughs> but, um... I, 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 like, Joe, the way in other Zelda games, like Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, and, and even Majora's Mask... You get to that, like, you get to that point where you feel like you're invincible. Is he coming up this hill? I was just gonna say, he better turn around, because no way am I, is he supposed to be coming up this hill. Oh, look, there are, like, explosives there as well. I didn't even notice them. Is he going back to his restful, resting place? See, I don't want to kill you. Not that I could if I tried. Well, I probably could if I tried, but I don't want to have to try, let's put it that way. Um, so actually, this is about... I, I have never found the third... Um, I've never found the third thing. Like, I've never found the third um, orb, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out, me having never found the third orb. What do I have as far as, like, food is concerned? And what I could do is I could take advantage of this... Um, cooking pot here and cook some things because I could like have the banana hold and the apples and the mushroom and just cook them. I probably should have spent more time gathering more food is what I should have done. <laughs> Mighty simmered food, fruit, food, fruit, and it puts my attack up as well which isn't bad at all but it only recovers like four hearts. What's up with that? Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and presume that like the 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 last orb is like up there, seeing as that's like the last unexplored place that we have here. But I'm conscious of the fact that this could be extremely dangerous as well. <laughs> and as I say, like, ooh, what's this? There's like something in here. I, I've got to explore this. <laughs> um, 
and basically like th this is ex this is exactly the kind of mentality that that made sure that like w which resulted in me just not like okay what's like the best weapon i have right now it actually is that okay because it hasn't actually made me fight a lot of things yet so i'm thinking maybe what's up here is that i actually will have to fight things which we'll see how that goes We'll just have to keep our wits about us and scope it out. But yeah, like that kind of mentality, this game is... This game is like actually made for people... With that kind of mentality of... I think that was worth it. Most definitely worth it. Oh my god, there's a fucking moblin. If I, like, wait, will he, like, go over there to, um... And there's, like, the last orb is up there. But I have hardly any arrows, which is kind of scary right now. I was just gonna think, does, does his, like, path intersect with that, like, exploding barrel? But yeah, as I was saying, like, this game is pretty much made for people who have that mentality of, um... Who have that mentality of um, just kind of loving to explore every single nook and cranny and just kind of ha having your your excitement aroused by things and another option would be I could like yep no that is not what I wanted to do no 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 <laughs> sorry I'm getting like really like stressed out right about now because like I'm really scared by that guy. Okay, that was a waste. That really was a waste, and now they're all just gonna come and, like, kill me is what's gonna happen. Oh no, oh no, okay, let's get out of here right now. Let's get out of here right now. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get out of here right now. <laughs> oh my god. I'm probably like the most frustrating player of this to watch as well, just because I do so much kind of like running in, going batshit crazy, and then running out of there, which is a strategy which actually seems to work for the most part in this game, funnily enough. It really does. What I'm try going to try and do... What, what I'm gonna... Oh my god, where did that boulder come from? Did they throw that at me? What I was going to try and what I'm gonna try and do is maybe Um take advantage of the fact that I have so much stamina and probably more stamina than they expect you to have at this point of the game. By kind of trying to get some height advantage. If I can get like Are there any other barrels I can use or anything? Because I feel like I really screwed up by doing what I did. I feel like maybe if I can get up here, then at least then I can get some height advantage. Because then if I can, like, glide down onto one of those, um... If I can glide down onto one of those platforms, well, maybe I can... Maybe I don't even need to kill them all, but I kind of would like to get take out that moblin because thing is not having any armor whatsoever makes you so vulnerable it's ridiculous it really really is ridiculous like when you have no armor like one hit of the, from that guy would probably take me out it depends on what weapon he has but one hit from him might even take me out like I might take advantage of my height up here just take this guy out Of course, my aim is like so bad. Okay, it's time to like wait. Let's let's just wait for him to quiet down a little bit. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at like one blue moblin with with a sword and a shield, one archer moblin up there who seems to not want to ignore me. I need to like get out over here where he can't see me. So let's take stock. So one one. Oh, Bo so three bokoblins and a moblin, that's what we're looking at right now. 
So if I can just kind of try, what I'm thinking is maybe if I can like get down onto that platform where the archer is. Would you stop alerting them? You can't even see me. Stop alerting them. I can't believe I missed that headshot. If I get, got that headshot, then there would be no issue whatsoever. Oh my god, this, this guy really needs to just be put in his place right now is what needs to happen. You fucker. You're screwing up my plans. You're screwing up my plans is what's happening. Oh my god, I like killed myself. I didn't mean to do- Oh my god, get out of there! Jeez. Oh my god. Fuck. Okay, this is like scary right now. Did that work? Did that please work? I think it like works to a certain extent, but this guy is really like... If I could like... Get him out of the way! <laughs> oh my god, fuck, this is exhilarating. Oh my god, get out of here. Yeah, see? Oh my god, that that is not going to work right now. This is not going to work right now, I just need to get out of here. Will he, like, go to sleep if it's night time? That's what I'm wondering. Well, now it's raining into the bargain, which is not good. <laughs> Watch, imagine if, like, the blood moon came, like, right at this moment. I wonder if there's... Oh my god, fuck. Okay, the, the armor. I wonder if there's anyone who has ever been, like, unlucky enough to have, like, the blood moon come. Well, maybe he'll get struck by lightning. That would actually be great. Could you imagine? Can you maybe get struck by lightning, you stupid thing? That'd be great if he could get struck by lightning since he has that metal sword, so it could very well happen. Otherwise, what I could always do is maybe like sneak in there when he goes back on his path, which he's bound to like go back on his path soon enough. Then I think I might be able to just sneak in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat right now. Eat. Okay, I have like some. I forgot I had like some of these as well. Will I just go for it? Will I just go for it and like use my like attack up power to, to take advantage of the fact that. And just use like my attack up power to kill him. I think that might be like the best option right now. Okay, my back broke. What do I have? Okay, I actually did it. I actually. <laughs> And I think that was like the best decision in the end, was it was like the risky one, but like, it was like high risk, high reward, because at the end of the day, like, my attack is up now. Oh jeez, I have to get this stupid thing off of there. Oh my goodness. Well, I suppose I'm, I'm gonna do it like this, am not I? Because how else do you ever, like... How... How else do you ever get these stupid things off of these things? I don't have like the proper weapon for it right now though, because no way am I ever going to get it off with that spear. Could you stop like attracting lightning over here you stupid sword? Jeez, you're freaking me out. <laughs> if I had like got this, that would have been crazy. Well, do you know what I could do? I could just do it like this. Oh my god, I think I actually have this in the bag. Because won't that just, like, get it away already enough? The bomb, surely? What? The bomb is not enough? <laughs> I can't believe, like, the greatest challenge that I'm going to face now is, is, like, how to get this stupid thing off of this thing. Surely this'll be enough. 
Just, just for good measure, I want to get this stupid thing off of here. I want to go flying into oblivion, why don't you? <laughs> Land on that poor Heenox. <laughs> That's all I can imagine right now is like, that like... <laughs> Is like that thing like flying out you know, up into the air, and that poor Hinox is just asleep on the ground, and he doesn't like. <laughs> and this big rough flat rock lands on him. He doesn't even know why where it came from. It's like how ridiculous is that? Oh my god! <sighs> I actually did it. I actually did it. As far as I know, <laughs> there is. I I, th I think. All the shrine is going to be is probably just going to be, oh, here's a gift for you. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I actually successfully did that. <laughs> and it was a dark and stormy night on Summertime Radness. Well, yeah, you better return my things as promised. Oh my god. Come, enter the shrine. The shrine gate. Like, the shine gate. Well, I've got to, like, get this, like, metal armor off of me right now. Everything okay? No. <sighs> Stranded on eventide? Complete. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but this was actually a summertime radness video. <laughs> oh my god, how am I ever gonna get up there when it's raining? Like this. <laughs> I suppose I can do- yeah, that's like the one handy thing. Like I- I- like- No, please, 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 please. Do I really have to use it again? Just because it's raining? That's ridiculous. It like gives you so much more height than you expect it to as well, and it's so handy for when it's raining like this because climbing in the rain is just an impossibility. And of course it stops raining as soon as I like as soon as I use it. <laughs> Let's examine this here. But yeah, I know it doesn't look like it right now, but this was a summertime radness video. I just thought, okay, well, I want to record something on the Switch. I think Breath of the Wild, even though it was kind of the game of the spring rather than the game of the summer, it is like the game of 2017 thus far, in my opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of other people, I presume, as well. Um, and I just think, do you know as well, just let's take the opportunity to do a challenge. It's a tropical island challenge as well, which fits in with the whole summer theme. And it was just a nice opportunity for me, as I said, would say with a lot of these, um, as I say with a lot of these summertime radness videos, like I said it in the Animal Crossing as well, it's just like a really cool opportunity to show off games and to have the opportunity to talk about games that you love and games that you feel really strongly about without, um, oh, that, that, I think that's like the first time I've ever got a root bee for one of these things. Usually you get a weapon or something. Um, but um, it's just the opportunity for me to talk about a game that I love and to play a game that I love in a one-shot video without embarking on an entire LP of it because, don't get me wrong, I would love to LP this game someday but it would be like the million part LP probably. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I, I like actually feel so good about myself and I think that's like the thing is like when you... Like, with a challenge like the Eventide Island challenge... And oh look, I have enough to, like, give myself an extra heart. I think with a challenge like the, the Eventide, challenge, Eventide Island challenge, is what I was going to say, I think you have such a sense of accomplishment just because you know, okay, the, the game took away practically everything I had, and I still managed to do it. And I still managed to, to succeed based on my own wits and based on intelligence and things because this game, it like what I love about it is it rewards you for, now we're here on a beautiful summertime radness night on Eventide Island, just like look at this. Like it rewards you for, um, it really does reward you for for having your wits about you and for strategizing and for thinking and for experimenting. Joe, so it re rewards ingenuity. 
um, and then it punishes you by the same token in, in, into the bargain as well if you get things wrong. But you don't feel bad about it. You feel like, okay, well, I, I have the sense of accomplishment of having tried something and it didn't work out, but we'll just try something else the next time. And when I do succeed, I'll have an even greater sense of accomplishment because I I feel like I, I earned the what I did. What is that? Is that a person? What? Um, hello. Hi. What are you doing all the way here? Seeking adventure. You must be drawn to heights. You and I have that in common. It is only from here that I can properly hear the wind. To bide here and listen to its voice offers a taste of that freedom. Don't you long to be like the wind too? Yeah, of course, with all my heart. I think we will be fast friends. Your style of wing is different to mine, that I think you could undergo my training to become the wind. Um, I don't- I have no idea what this is, so I'm going to- I'm going to try this some other time. I think it's time to just, like, let, let's just, like, relax and stare out to sea with our new friend here. And end off what has been, like, a fun summertime radness video where we manage to complete the Eventad Island Shrine quest. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope this recording turns out because, as I say, it's my first Nintendo Switch recording ever. Um, otherwise, see you next time for more Sussus Summertime Radness. You've got two more weeks or like a week and a half by the time this goes out to take part and contribute. Really, really, it's so much fun, so give it a go. See you next time. Bye now. Sus, 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 summertime radness.